British Columbia, a stunning province of Canada, is renowned for its breathtaking landscapes, rich natural resources, and impressive hydropower facilities. Among these marvels, a monumental project has emerged, captivating attention on both local and global scales. The Site C Hydropower Project, dubbed the largest hydroelectric initiative in the region since 1984, stands as a testament to British Columbia's commitment to renewable energy. Yet, beneath its promising potential lies a swirling sea of controversies, leaving many to question the true impact of this ambitious undertaking. The Vision of Side C the Site C Dam is no ordinary hydropower project. Located 14 kilometers southwest of Fort St. John in northeastern British Columbia, this massive development is nestled along the Peace River, approximately 80 kilometers downstream from the existing WAC Bennett Dam. Site C is poised to become a pivotal player in the province's energy landscape. Once completed in 2025, the dam will be the fourth largest producer of hydroelectricity in British Columbia, boasting an impressive capacity of 1,100 megawatts and an estimated annual output of 4,600 gigawatt GH watts of electricity. This colossal energy supply is projected to power approximately 11,000 GH watts or 1,100 GHG British Columbian households each year, providing a consistent, sustainable, and affordable energy source. One of the defining features of the Site C project is its innovative design. By utilizing water stored in the Williston Reservoir, created by the WAC Bennett Dam, Site C avoids the need for an additional large-scale water storage system. Instead, the project will create an 83-kilometer-long reservoir, encompassing a surface area of 9,330 hectares. However, this design comes with its own challenges, including the flooding of approximately 5,550 hectares of land. However, the approach by the highly contentious aspect of the project Equipped with six 183-megawatt vertical-axis Francis turbines, Site C's powerhouse will channel water through an intricate system of tunnels, penstocks, and spillways. These features exemplify cutting-edge engineering, promising to deliver power efficiently while ensuring minimal environmental disruption. The dam itself will be a 60-meter-high, 1050-meter-long earth-fill structure. With a crest width of 10 meters, complemented by a roller compacted concrete buttress that forms the foundation for its powerhouse and spillways. Economic and environmental impacts. The economic benefits of Site C are substantial. During its development and construction phases, the project is expected to generate approximately three, five, zero, zero, zero jobs with an additional one, zero, 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 zero direct construction positions. Moreover, it is projected to contribute around $160 million to the local GDP and $3.2 billion to the provincial economy over its lifetime. With an estimated operational lifespan of 100 years, Site C represents a long-term investment in British Columbia's energy infrastructure. Despite these advantages, the project has faced significant pushback. Environmental concerns have dominated discussions, particularly regarding the planned flooding of agricultural lands and the potential impact on local ecosystems. Critics argue that this flooding will disrupt wildlife habitats and diminish biodiversity, raising questions about the trade-offs between renewable energy development and environmental preservation. A history of controversy. First conceptualized in the 1970s, Site C has endured decades of scrutiny. Initial proposals faced rejection in the early 1980s, with the British Columbia Utilities Commission citing inadequate consideration of energy prices and statistical trends. However, in 2010, the project gained momentum following the passage of the Clean Energy Act, which exempts Site C from further regulatory reviews. By 2014, federal and provincial governments approved the project paving the way for construction to begin in 2015 with an estimated cost of $16 billion. Yet, controversies persisted. Critics raised concerns about high construction costs, potential alternatives, and uncertainty surrounding future electricity demand. 
legal challenges from Treaty 8 First Nations and local landowners, alongside opposition from over 200 scholars and the Royal Society of Canada, underscored the contentious nature of Site C. These groups highlighted weaknesses in the project's environmental assessment and regulatory review process. In December 2017, the provincial government announced its decision to proceed with Site C, citing the financial repercussions of cancellation. Officials warned that abandoning the project would result in a $4 billion debt burden, leading to higher electricity rates and reduced funding for critical infrastructure like schools and hospitals. This pragmatic rationale swayed public opinion, allowing construction to continue, a step toward sustainability. Proponents of Site C emphasize its potential to combat climate change by preventing an estimated 30 to 70 million metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions over its lifetime. The project aligns with global efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Moreover, discussions with the federal government have explored the possibility of exporting Site C's power to Alberta, further bolstering Canada's transition away from coal and natural gas. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has championed such initiatives, highlighting the benefits of interprovincial collaboration in reducing emissions. Anything we can work together on to get emissions down is good for the country, the economy, and our climate goals, he stated, emphasizing the importance of renewable energy projects like Site C in Canada's broader environmental strategy. Challenges ahead. Despite significant progress, the dam is 90% complete as of 2023. The project is not without hurdles. Environmental violations have tarnished its reputation with the main contractor fined $1.1 million for discharging contaminated water into the Peace River. This incident, which involved the release of 3,300 cubic meters of drainage water with high metal concentrations, underscores the need for stringent oversight. Logistical challenges also loom large. British Columbia's energy transmission network may struggle to accommodate the increased load from Site C. While demand for renewable energy is rising, particularly in industries seeking to decarbonize, the province's existing infrastructure requires significant upgrades to efficiently distribute Site C's power output. A balanced perspective, as Site C nears completion, its promise of reliable, sustainable energy is undeniable. For many, the economic and environmental benefits outweigh the controversies. Positioning the project as a milestone in British Columbia's renewable energy journey. However, Ongoing debates about its environmental and social costs serve as a reminder of the complexities inherent in large-scale infrastructure projects. What do you think? Is Site C a visionary step toward a greener future or an environmental misstep with lasting consequences? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for updates on groundbreaking projects shaping our world.